We have a little cat track coming up. Okay. Where we have to get a little bit of speed. We're going to be um, taking it around to the right. So down that way. Yep. Cool. So you'll have a couple of turns and then you'll see where you can kind of go straight and just keep whatever speed you can. Yeah. Okay? Cool. Follow me. Now from here, depending on how you feel, you can go fast. It's up to you. Yeah, we'll see how I go. If you're going to go fast, point where you want to go. Central on the board. Oh, the back's taking a jarring, eh? Woo! I still haven't quite got the just neutral stance. Yeah. So, welcome to your first cat track. Yeah. <laughs> cat track is one of the first times where you'll ever get to ride your board on a flat face yeah. without using edges. <laughs> okay. Good learning curve. As soon as you start using your edges, it slows you down. Um, when you get to a flat area like this and you want to keep your speed, yeah. um, what you are going to be doing is putting the board in a mostly flat stance, looking where you're going to go, pointing your arm where you're going to go, yeah. and riding very neutral. Now, see that's kind of a little unnatural to me because on a skateboard and a surfboard, Obviously, your front foot's more of an angle, and you're kind of always a little open to where you're going. Yep. So if I was neutral like that, naturally on a snowboard, I'm yep. going to rotate. So e Even on a snowboard, you're quite often that little bit open. Yeah. But you'll start to feel um, whether your board is catchy or not. Yeah. So you caught one edge, um, and I was a little bit ahead, so I couldn't quite see what was happening. But as you get better at this, you'll start to make adjustments with your body naturally to be in that neutral position that'll ride flat based across these cat traps. Yeah. So we've got an example, we can do it real slow here. You can strap both feet in, because I can kind of pull you a little bit. I'm gonna pull you to get you going. See how you're basically riding with a flat base right now? Yeah. If you were to go too much in your towage right now, your board will start going over there and you'll lose speed. Yeah. So right now you're riding basically flat base, your body's very even, Yeah. kind of looking where you want to go, slow speed. That's exactly right. Oh, too much on heel edge. Soft there we go. Pointing the board in the direction you want to go. Perfect. That's it. I feel like I'm on my heel a bit. You're ever so, your toe edge was almost digging in there. That's good. My toe edge or my heel edge? That was your toe edge. Oh, right, because it feels like I'm on my heels. Oh, you're, real, you're real flat base right now. And as you get to this part, you can go onto your heels slowly to slow yourself down. There you go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Nice. That's it. That's the whole cat track we've got to get past. But now we're back on the run. Cool. All right, we're following the leader. Yep. You're following me. You're going to try to copy the turns I do. Cool. I'm going to start out with some nice wide turns, and then yep. we're going to bring some turns in just to change it up. Cool. cool. Yeah. I'll turn around. We're going to start straight into a downhill and toe side turn. And hill side turn. And toe side turn. I feel like I come round too much, too quickly. On which turn? Like, I feel like I'm doing more of like a hack than a cart, like a nice drawn out turn. Dude, for a second day snowboarding, your turns are looking fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, You're crushing man. it. But we can experiment with different hacks for yeah. sure. As you get as you get into this riding thing. Yeah. So, let's talk about how you make turns wider and right, wider and uh, and tighter. Yeah. Um, you got a good spot there? I'm just going to kneel, I think. Make life easier for myself. So at this stage in your riding, there's two main things that are going to affect your turn shape. One is how much rotation you use in your body, and the second is how much edge you use on your board. Yeah. So first off, when you're going into your turns, if you start to initiate your turn with your upper body, that'll translate through into your hips, into your lower body, and into your board to help you turn in that direction. 
So you want to make a heelside turn, open up a little bit, your board will start to follow you through that heelside turn. You want to make a toe side turn, just point a little bit into the direction you want to go, body twists that way, that twists into the lower body and the board will start going around that way too. Make sense? Yeah. The more you use that upper body, the quicker that turn's going to come around. The other thing is your edging. At this stage, as soon as you get into that turn, the more you edge, the quicker that turn's going to come around. The less you edge, the slower it's going to come down. Now, you can experiment with them. Most of your turns at this stage are going to be light edging. Because if you edge too hard, that's going to, it's going to throw you off balance. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, definitely. As you start getting more speed, you can add more edge into your turns to help those turns come around quicker. Make sense? Cool. Okay, you ready to follow me? Yeah. You so. can get as close as you want to me. Don't ever worry about hitting me. I can just speed up and get out of your way. Cool. Cool? Yeah. I'll turn around to the same direction as you. Starting on the toe edge. Getting a bit of speed up. And when you feel comfortable, initiate a little bit of upper body and we'll go into a heel edge turn. Nice. And when you're, when you're feeling good here, initiate downhill. Toe edge turn. Nice. Nicely done. And heel edge. Okay, if you want to make that toe edge turn come around quicker, initiate in quicker. Let it follow you. Nicely done. See how much it, how much quicker that turn came around? Yeah. That's because of how much more you initiated. Okay, now heel edge. Let's experiment with making a couple of quick ones here. Watch me. Quick toe edge turn. There we go. Now we're going to do a quick heel edge turn. We're going to cross on the cross on the toes. Open up. See how quick it comes around? Yeah. That's because you used more body and more edge. Okay. When you're ready, go into a mellow toe side. Nicely done. Nicely done. You can be a little bit quicker on that toe side turn. Yeah, I felt a little shaky on it. Yeah, you can you can use the edge a little bit earlier. Earlier. Cool. All right. Yeah, it's definitely a mental thing. We're going onto my toe edge. Let's talk about that right now. Is uh the other day when we were riding together on your very first day? Yeah. You're when you're making those very first turns, you're really like really slow to get the edge because that's otherwise you'll catch it. Yeah. Now that you're actually turning, you can start edging that a little bit earlier in each turn, and it won't catch because you've got some speed, you've got momentum. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah, because I'm very conscious at the moment of being straight, then engage. Now you can start engaging ever so slightly before the straight if you've got that speed. Yeah, okay. Okay? Good and you'll feel it'll, it'll roll into that edge smoother and get you around quicker. Yeah. Cool. cool. I noticed that in the last couple of toe turns. Yeah, it's, de it's every time. I'm, I'm really yep. quite happy coming in to go into heel edge and opening out. Yep. It's gaining speed on my toe edge and then knowing that I'm going about to lean into the mountain and yep. turn that way. It, it, yeah, it definitely feels a, a little odd. I'm a bit like, oh, don't know about this. Watch right. me. I'm going to make a toe side turn now. And you're going to see that my edge engages before at the board's downhill. So, yeah, so if you can imagine like the other day we were like downhill and then edge. I'm going to be going across and I'm going to be start that toe edge ever so slightly before my down, board's even downhill yeah. because I have momentum. Cool. Watch me across here and then give it a go. So here I go. I'm going to get a little bit of speed up. And now I'm going to change edges right now before my board was downhill. Okay, get a little bit of speed up. And edge change. There we go. <laughs> nice. Carry Any on down. Better? Yeah, much better. Carry on down. I'm watching you.
Nicely done. Now go out quite wide on the heel edge, all the way across here, and make sure to finish off that toe edge turn. When you say finish off, what do you mean? Uh, so finish the turn and slow down. Cool. So I'm coming over here to give you more room. I'll go into the toe, there we go, toe edge turn, finish it off, finish it off. There we go, much better. That was a finish off where you can slow down and control your speed at the end of that turn. Oh, that was a quick turn. <laughs> there we go, slowing it down. Yep. Those are some tight turns. Good. Pause it there for one tick, like uh, the, the snowboarding. Can you feel how on a couple of those nice tight turns that it's kind of catching the board? Yeah, a little bit. Right as, right as you're about to make the turn? Yeah. When you feel that little catch, that means you have to edge a little bit earlier to avoid that catch. Okay. What's happening is that edge is just digging in, and if you're on the edge ever so slightly earlier, yeah. it'll be smooth around that corner. Cool. But well, I'm really happy to see you doing those tight turns. It's um. You know, you should be able to do tight turns, you should be able to do wide turns, you should be able to do fast turns, slow yeah, it turns. It feels like a, it's like, well, just going, if I want to go down slow, just little, yep. not taking up too much space, just quick. Yeah. Beep, beep. And being able to avoid people at the last minute. Yeah, break. exactly. Good stuff. Thanks, man. We made it. We, uh, we did our first lap of, uh, of the green chair here. So, and, um, what, I fell over twice? You crushed it, man. You absolutely crushed it. This was the most snowboarding you've ever done. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to get up there and do more. Cool, let's do it. Stoked. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Legs good. aren't too shaky, yeah. but it'll be nice to have a little break on the chairlift. It's going to get easier and easier from here. Yeah. You've passed the hard stuff already. Cool. Yeah, all right. It's, uh, it's a little sore. Like, it's just muscles I haven't used before, and it's tender. But it, it's, it's definitely not as painful as the other day, and yeah. it's better. So. And you got your first jump. Yeah, I did a little little bunny hop. I wouldn't say it was an ollie, but I did a little bunny hop. All good. And we're going to... Yeah. Well, this next run, we'll probably do a little bit of switch as well. Oh, don't tease me like that. All right. I'm on the toe edge. Unweight, change edge, back down. Leaning downhill into my front foot. There we go. There we go. The more you point the nose downhill, the easier. It's actually going to be a good time to do your first little switch ride. Oh. How awkward does it feel? Nicely done. There he goes. And slowing down a lot between each turn while you're on a steeper section like this. Keeping that board straight where you want to go. That's it. 